Hello everyone, my name is Uthris, and welcome back to Timber and Stone. We are on day 31, it's about noon, and we have our two archers here going to go intercept the hostile necromancer that is burning the wastelands out here. And I also have a guard position set up here for our guards. I'm going to try kiting for a little bit first. Just as, um, we'll just see how well that goes. And then the, the warriors, as they catch up, they will hopefully intercept the small, um, where are you going? Force move walking, come on, engage, engage the spider. Okay, well, good enough. Alright, so the last tree that was burnt was out here. So I'm going to take my time a little bit to walk out. And here we go. This is... This is going to be something. We have our first group of skeletons. Uh, and by first group, I mean a whole bunch. Oh my goodness. That is a lot of skeletons. Wow. Okay, that's like ten. Ten freaking skeletons. I don't know what Starbuckle is doing. But he really needs to not care about emptying his inventory right now. And get back over here. So, oh, too far. Let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight skeletons here. Hold on, pause, 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 pause. I really wish there was a hockey for that. In fact, I really, really wish there was a hockey for that. Starbuckle is abandoning us. So is these nuts. Um, God, that's so annoying. Why are they doing that? All right, I'm gonna cancel charge. Just so I know what these guys are doing. What are you doing? You're emptying inventory. Of what? Food? Why are you carrying food? I don't know what they're doing and why they're doing it, but I think this is kind of a failed first attempt here. All right, retreat. Full retreat is in effect. Uh, these nuts is going way too slow. Way too slow. All right, they're gonna regroup here. Objects, storage, hold on. Food, food crate. Let's see if we can't get some weapon storage out here. Probably should have done this first before engaging. Do you, you actually dropped off all your food? You did. Nice. Good for you, guy. Guards. Alright, can I put anyone else into infantry because I don't think we have enough anymore? Jenny, I'm going to have to call into infantry. Sure, she's only level 6. And she only has a sword. But really, I need all the arms I can get. At this point. Alright, 
Alright, good. We have a weapon rack out here. That was uh, a whole lot of, of dangerous skeletons out there, for sure. Okay, so he's eating. That is that why he is doing what he's doing? I have no idea. I think so, though. So Uther's is at full, Jenny's at full, and the new guy, Marshall, he is at full. Get a food crate out here. Anything else on fire? Nope, nothing else is on fire. I had really hoped to get this done that first day, but it might not be doable. Twitch mode's almost fully filled, same with Alkiri. Where are the archers? There they are. Are they done eating now? Like, Jesus Christ. Please, just go. I need them to start weakening the skeleton horde. And it looks like it's gonna start going into dusk before anything here. Which is not what I wanted to do for recording purposes. So they were over here. Spider, okay, there's a skeleton. So here's the skeletons. I'm gonna see if I can get Starbuckle here to maybe take some shots. Come on, get in your position. You're running? Just straight up running? Are you serious? You're an archer. You're not gonna even bother? Yeah, no. Thanks. Oh, balls. All right, let's see. Charge is on. Charge is on. Why are you so slow? You need to go and empty your inventory. That's why you're so slow. So go on, start running. a lot of skeleton right there. This is gonna get straight into night. It's gonna be night battle, it seems. Isn't that really what I wanted? So if I can get maybe the archers to take out the necromancers while the infantry deal with the skeletons, that's probably the best way, slash only way we're going to do this. Oh boy. I'm just gonna mark all these things for charge, and we're gonna take this nice and slow, hopefully. All right, so first shot is fired. Oh my goodness, there's so many of them. Let's spread out the archers. A little bit here. I really wish I could just select a whole bunch of these guys at once. Okay, so that's two on two right there. Let's move Starbuckle to the north. We'll retreat to Wishma and Jenny over to this right flank.
Uther's has taken some damage. Akari has taken a little bit. Akari is about to take a whole bunch more. All right, let's rotate Alkari out. Get someone else in. As <laughs> I really wish there was a better way to do this. This is, okay, Alkari's at half. How's Jenny doing? I don't know if I can click on her. I'll have to use this screen, I guess. Jenny, she's fine. Okay, carry on. Uthris. Everyone is okay. Uthris is at half. I'll rotate him out now. Okay, and Jenny has taken a hit for sure. I'm pretty sure that Necromancer is about to shoot a fireball. Or raise another zombie. I don't know yet. Okay, so that's taken out. I think it's another skeleton. Yes, he raised it at our feet. And he should start shooting a fireball. That should be... Oh, no, he's going to raise straight into another skeleton. But he's dead. But that skeleton did get raised. But we have enough people to deal with it. And there we go. That's us. We have killed the Necromancer threat. I hope you guys were able to see what was going on. I really do. But, um, I'm sorry that happened at night. We are safe in the sound. I'm gonna go ahead and move everyone back over here. Go our positions. And I'll see you guys in the morning. I'm glad that went as well as it did. I, I really am. Because that, that could have gone south real quick. Well, guys, I was, you know, working off camera. It was going to take about a day after the Necromancer fight to actually come up with some maybe cool ideas for the continuation of our town. And this happened. Um, these guys just really snuck up on me. There's a Necromancer right outside the new farmhouse. And so... Uthris just happened to be over in this area. I don't know why I was, but he definitely gave me a warning. So we're we're gonna be in a bit of trouble here. Now, obviously, my guy is not going to want to stay in this area, but I feel like I should. So we're gonna have another battle here of a couple of necromancers this episode it seems so we'll just start plucking away hopefully with our archers here and just wait for the rest of our infantry to kind of catch up okay so let's let's move the archers to the right a little bit We're going to be using that pausing kind of strategy again here. Now, oh boy, what, what do we got? We got another skeleton being raised by the necromancer it seems. Our archers are freaking leaving. I don't know why they do this. Guarding, upgrading equipment, upgrading equipment. Uh, which basically means they're off to go gather some more arrows. Join. Okay, so that skeleton is down or being raised. I can't. I can't tell. All right, so we'll charge that skeleton and then go straight after the necromancer. All right, there we go. Split damage. Now, it looks like the Necromancer likes to just keep summoning zombies, which is great. 
but they take a while to wake up anyways. So if you're able to kill them, he'll keep trying to summon them. And that gives you time, which is great! We were able to defend ourselves yet again on this day 33 dusk. And I'm gonna go ahead and switch everyone back real quick to what they were. And now, telling you the truth this time, I'll be back when some cool stuff happens. Okay, everyone, so this is uh, hopefully my plan. As you can see, up in the mountain, we're starting to carve out some more land. And uh, I, I was hearing everyone kind of asking for maybe some, some different layers. So I'm going to start going up the mountain a little bit here. Just a little bit, not too much, because I don't want to spread everything out too far. And basically, it's going to be a small plateau to the right and a small plateau to the left here. Uh, the left being, I might make some type of cool tower. And then the right will probably be some type of bank barn or uh, storage in general. But you can see that we're just kind of flattening out terrain here as usual. I know last episode we didn't quite get to finish this house as the necromancer kind of showed up out of nowhere. So let's go ahead and go over some of the features. It is on a plateau like most of our builds so far. A uh, whole bunch of crops planted out front has kind of a wooden entryway and a well kind of tucked into the side here. Now if we scroll down a layer to see the second floor, you'll see that we have two beds and a dresser. I don't know how I off-centered that stone bench. So let's go ahead and put that back. Uh, stone bench. There we go. So yeah, two dressers, two beds, a fireplace, a chair, and a banner. That's kind of the upper bedroom area. And then down below, we have, you know, food storage, miscellaneous storage, bookcases, shrubs, our little table here, another stone bench, another post banner, a tool chest, and an armor chest. Now that's just because we uh, were a little taken up on the armor storage, so I need to start dealing with that a little bit and placing more of those. Let's, I need to put a trough, I think, out here. Cause I like how the troughs look, kind of placed alongside the wall. Object storage, and let's go ahead and put miscellaneous. Need a resource crate there, and we'll probably put one above it as well. Let's see. Yeah, crops are doing well. We're, we're hovering around 700 food. Sometimes we'll shoot up to 800, kind of depending what the herder is doing. And yeah, today's been a lot of combat. I'm sure you guys want to see more building, as do I. A progress should be something we're focusing on for sure. So I'm going to, let's go ahead and mark out kind of the plateau for this barn. So we're gonna go eight by 11, I think. I think that's okay. Now this one, 10 by 10 maybe. Or 10 by 7x7? Seven 7x7 by seven? Seven by seven might be good. Or 10x7. Seven. Ooh, 7-11. Let's do that. That's a good number to do. So those would be two uh, smaller plateaus that they'll get to work on. Of course, since we're cutting away more of the dirt, we're going to be using more uh, intense looking supports for those walls. Arker, you're going to hop into a trader real quick. So I'm going to see if you can't make us any money. Uh, we're willing to sell one for 12. Okay, I can do that. Am I selling any cloth now? What am I selling? I think I'm selling cloth armor and stuff like that. So let's look. Gavinson, yeah. That's, that's pretty much what we're selling. Armin cap, let's maintain five of that in storage as well. We'll maintain five boots in storage. 
Uh, no. I don't need to maintain any more of those. We need some more kite shields, I feel, at some point for our people. Crafting, gathering items. Is this guy having a problem? I saw, I saw a text message above his head. Building resource crate. I can't get to the resource crate. I bet the trough is in the way. It is. So we're going to deconstruct it first. And then put the trough there. You can see the previous trough blends in pretty well. It, it looks it looks interesting. It's just another little layer of depth you can throw into areas. I'm already at 20 minutes. So it seems like this episode is pretty much wrapping up. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm glad everyone was able to survive this episode. We didn't lose a single soul. And that always makes me happy. I'm sure it makes you guys happy as your, your named characters are living. And so, yeah. If you guys enjoyed the episode, feel free to subscribe to my channel if you're new. Go ahead and hit that like button if you enjoyed the episode as well. Go ahead and leave a comment down below if you have any ideas on what to build. Sorry, I'm zoning out as I'm trying to think of where this reading drop was. There we go. That makes sense. Okay, so I'll see you guys in the next episode.